I am going to talk about pulleys. Let's say we have two masses, 10 kg and 6 kg, attached by a string. So this is a taut string. It is not stretchable. And we assume the mass of the string is zero. So we ignore the mass of the string. So we put this string over a horizontal bar. So we also assume that friction between the string and bar is negligible. Zero. I mean, this is never become zero, but we assume zero. <coughs> if I press my finger here, tension in this string and tension in this string are not same because it has more mass than this one. So when I release my finger, what happens? Because M1 is greater than M2, so system accelerates counterclockwise direction. Basically accelerates this direction. So question is, what is the acceleration of the system? How can we calculate? Okay, let's assume this direction positive. We can assume neg negative as well, but positive will be easier. Because of Newton's second law, what is the formula for acceleration? Equal F net over total mass mass of the system okay what is the total mass of the system total mass of this system since m1 m2 and citric move together they have same speed and same acceleration magnitude of acceleration same speed also same so string also taut non-stretchable in this case we can assume these three object as one object because they move together in this case what is the total mass m1 plus M2 mass of the string is ignored. Okay. So next things, what is the net force acting on a system? So net force is a vector sum of the four forces acting on a system. So this will be how many forces we have acting on this system. There is one force F G1 equal M1 times G. FG2 is smaller than FG1. Okay. This is M2 times G. <coughs> okay. So, when we write this one, FG1 plus FG2. So, there is arrow here, here, here. This is vector addition. In fact, mathematically we subtract. So to find the magnitude of the net force, basically F G1 minus plus, okay, I write this way, minus F G2. Because although both of them points down, this is positive direction, this is positive direction this way, so negative this way, so I put here negative, so F net will be in this case M1 G, so plus plus become minus M2 G, or I can write F net if we factor G out, M1 minus M2. Okay, so acceleration, 
magnitude of acceleration will be f net over total mass f net g over m1 minus m2 total mass is this one m1 plus m2 okay <clears throat> what is the direction of acceleration direction will be uh, counterclockwise direction so if I apply this for our problem G is 9.8 meter second square okay M1 is uh, 10 kilogram minus 6 kilogram over 10 kilogram plus 6 kilogram if I do this calculation I will get okay I just look at my notes 2.2.45 meter second square so direction so if I write vector notation direction will be counterclockwise so direction of acceleration will be down here and up here second question is what is the tension in this string as I mentioned earlier when I press my finger here tension at the left side of the string and right side of the string will be different but after when I release my hand, then tension in every point of the string here, 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 in every point are same because string is tau and there is we don't we ignore the friction between the string and the bar. Okay, so how can we find the tension in the string? Okay, let's assume we ignore the left side of the system. So just see this right side of the system. So by using right side, okay, so basically we use M2. So if I draw free body diagram for M2, this is M2 times G, basically FG2. So this is the tension, F tension. Since system accelerates this way upward in the right side, so tension must be greater than FG2. Okay, if I write that F net so F net is as you know vector sum of to all forces acting on an object so when I write in vector notation so FG 2 plus F tension F net equal FG 2 plus F tension so when I rearrange formula F tension will be F net minus F G2 ok so F tension again F net is M times A minus M times G ok still in vector notation when I I factor out M so A minus G okay so this is the general tension formula in vector notation so if you use this formula right side or left side doesn't matter we can get same tension okay so we are we go again uh, keep going right side 
So in this case, if I apply this formula at the right side, mass will be M2 here, 6 kilogram. So 6 kilogram. Okay. A is positive direction. So 2.45 meter second square. Then minus G is downward. So G is negative. So negative 9.8 meter second square. Okay. So in this case F tension will be okay. So when I do this calculation I get 73.5 Newton positive. I get positive. So positive will be up in this case. 73.5 Newton up. Okay. If I use I can use also left side. In this case I will be using this side. So if I I can use this formula. So it is in vector notation. So will be M will be left side M1 10 kilogram. Okay. So A will be positive again 2.45 meter second square minus this minus this minus but g this time positive okay so 9.8 meter second square when i calculated this one i get this time negative 73.5 Newton. So left side negative is up. Positive is down. So 73.5 Newton up. I get basically same value. Another method to find the acceleration of the system. When system accelerates tension in the string in every point are same. Okay, if you consider the left side, this is the free body diagram for the left side. Magnitude of F at will be F G1 minus F T. This is force tension. This is FG1 gravity. Since system accelerate this way, counterclockwise, this is greater than this one. So F net equal M1A equal FG1 M1 G minus FT. So this is the first equation. So if you consider the right side in this case, this is the free body diagram. So in this case, since system accelerate this way, Ft greater than Fg2. So in this case, magnitude of net force Ft minus Fg2. So this is M2A equal F T minus M2 G. This is the second equation. So when we add first one with the second one, so left side becomes M1A plus M2A. Right side FT minus plus cancel each other. So I get M1 G minus M2 G. When I isolate A, we get G times M1 minus M2 
over m1 plus m2. So this is the magnitude of acceleration. Direction of the acceleration will be from the smaller object to the larger object. So direction will be basically counterclockwise. So this way direction of the acceleration. Thank you very much for watching my video.